Hey, what's going on everybody? I think I'm ready for this project. Okay, so we have the new SanDisk Extreme Go portable SSD. Uh, this drive they sell at Costco and it's one of the best values that you can get for a portable SSD. And they even have a four terabyte version right now, I believe as of October, 2024 for only $239. Suddenly in the last year or two, SSD prices have gone back up. Uh, but these, they also sell on Amazon. You can get them at my personal favorite, B&H Photo and Video, and probably other retailers of your choice. So these drives, obviously I like them because I've owned, wait for this, not just these two, but I have a third one and there's a fourth one that's somewhere here um, as well. So I definitely stand by these SanDisk drives. People have said things in comments in the past about some of these drives, you know, failing, but when you sell as many drives as SanDisk is of these, like hundreds of thousands, yes, you're going to get a little bit of failures. Uh, but I have never experienced so far anything uh, with these drives after years of ownership. So I highly recommend these drives. But what I want to see is, is there a difference between the Extreme Go and the regular ones. Why is there the word go? It definitely is a different part number, but does that mean this is going to be slower? Is it going to be better? Is it going to have differences in performance in the long run? You know, these are things that we're going to find out. Test computer right here, 14 inch MacBook Pro, which does have the USB-C and Thunderbolt rated speed for those ports. One thing to note is that I am not getting sponsored by either SanDisk, I'm not getting sponsored or paid by Costco. Uh, I'm really just doing this because, well, I want you to watch my videos. So thank you for watching so far. Uh, and also I'm just curious too, because I use these drives all the time. And if there is a difference, I should know about it uh, as well, because I obviously want the best performance uh, that I can get while I'm doing these videos. Here's the setup. I have two drives right now. They're on their own individual ports. And what I would first do is take this folder here, which is about 50 gigabytes large. Uh, another thing to note is that I am using the hardware encryption for these drives. So the benefit of these drives is that you do get hardware encryption so that your data is protected. And these drives, I just went ahead and unlocked. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this folder into both drives at about the same time. Here we are, and let's see which one is faster. Uh, the DJ Lee J Dose is the Extreme Go, and the one that's not Dose is the standard SanDisk Extreme. All right, so it actually looks like the Extreme Go is outperforming the standard Extreme Portable. This is crazy. So let's let this go. All right, so the Extreme Go is already done with this um, transfer and the regular one still has about 15 gigabytes left. That's impressive. So now I'm gonna go and do the same task, but individually. So I'm gonna take this folder, drop it in here, and at the same time, I'm gonna open up the stopwatch and let's see how long it takes for this 55 gigabytes again to go to the regular uh, standard SSD. Okay, so that just finished the 55 gigs in a little bit over two minutes. Go ahead and stop this. Um, and you guys can probably do the math, the calculator, uh, port transfer speed, but that's pretty fast still. I mean, I come from the days of floppy drives or burning CDRWs. So I'll take uh, 55 gigabytes in two minutes. Uh, let me eject this first drive. I'm gonna use the exact same port on this MacBook also. So we're not gonna invite any other variables into this. Just the difference in drives. I'm gonna drop the same folder into the uh, Extreme Go drive, start the stopwatch, and let's see if 
This outperforms the standard extreme drive again, this time individually. So here we go. All right, this is looking pretty promising again. So we are under a minute and it's already over halfway done. All right, so we're about halfway into the transfer, about a minute in so far. Um, but yeah, Costco, some good finds. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have found anything good at Costco recently. Uh, the last big purchase that we've made will, well, it's actually this, this chair right here. Uh, it's just amazing how that works out, right? We go there, oh yeah, we're gonna get some eggs. Uh, we're gonna get some oat milk. It's almost a trap going to Costco. Uh, but these drives, if again, if you need a hard drive, also a great deal. And looks like it is performing. All right, one more gig to go and done. Wow, holy guacamole. By the way, it's another uh, brand they sell at Costco. Uh, but holy crap, yeah, this Extreme Go drive finished the exact same transfer uh, writing speed uh, in one minute and 24 seconds, whereas the standard drive, so the standard drive took over two minutes and a few seconds. The Extreme Go did this 55 gigabyte folder in a minute 24 seconds. So uh, this Costco drive is fast and we've already proven this. So that is amazing. I didn't think it was gonna be as big of a spread as this was. So this newer technology absolutely is working out uh, for SanDisk. So if you see the Extreme Go on sale, either at Costco, Amazon, wherever you buy these things from, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is a drive that I would select. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and please uh, like and subscribe for more. See you guys for another video.